Our top story tonight, it's been dangerously windy in parts of the Bay Area. A lot of communities on alert, some dealing with a lot of damage because of falling trees. Yeah, take a look at this video out of Oakland near Estates Drive. You could see that tree right there toppling through the brick wall of that home. Strong winds also trash the yard, tossing branches, taking out a basketball hoop as well. First responders have been busy going from one problem to the next. Cal Fire, San Mateo and Santa Cruz unit tweeting out these pictures showing a car crushed by a tree. People are being warned to be alert if they plan to go on any walks or hikes this evening. In San Mateo County, another tree toppled into a home in Montera, about five miles south of Pacifica. No reports of any injuries so far. Let's go ahead and take you to the North Bay now. You could see the wind knocked down some power poles in Napa. Gusts were reportedly hitting the area at more than 50 miles an hour there. Let's go ahead and take you to PG&E's website now. At one point this morning, nearly 30,000 customers had no power. PG&E says that number is down to about 16,000, and most of those outages are in the East Bay, mainly the Oakland and Berkeley areas. PG&E says they're working quickly as possible to get the power back on for everyone. Let's take a live look now at Oracle Park there in San Francisco. Things looking a bit calmer now. It was blowing there earlier. Rob Mayetta is here now. How are things looking for the rest of this weekend? Well, the wind speeds are coming down, but we did have that high potential of what we say are damaging wind gusts, and that's what the wind speeds look like when you have Trees toppling down all over the Bay Area. North Bay, Healdsburg Hills, we saw wind gusts up to 96 miles per hour. That was very close to where the Geyser fire was up there in Sonoma County last night. You could see Mount Diablo, Diablo Range, 70 mile per hour gusts. But you saw the power outages map around the inner East Bay. From the Oakland Hills down to Oakland Airport, you had gusts of 58 to 63 miles per hour and even up to 55 miles per hour at Half Moon Bay. The good news, the stronger wind speeds are starting to come down. A big change from about this time last night and evening where we had those gusts of 40 to 60 miles per hour. You can see how those wind speeds have really started to dial back. Still locally strong on the higher mountaintops around the North Bay, but the Bay Area catching a break. Also watching the wind conditions down here on the Colorado fire. You can see how strong it was yesterday evening. Now we're seeing those wind speeds come down. A little bit of a south wind, cooler temperatures, humidity numbers starting to come back up as we continue to see these dry conditions. And you may be wondering why we're seeing these fires. We had all that rain in December. We still have severe drought conditions around the state. And despite the fact the valleys have seen a lot of fog, last 14 days without rain, it's been warm and dry in the hills. You add in one of the strongest offshore wind events in the last couple of months that reignites some of that fire danger around Northern California. So what we need to see is more of this. And there's precisely that. Now in the 10 day forecast, we could see some rain entering the long term weather forecast. We'll have the timing on when that pattern change will happen coming up in our forecast in about 10 minutes. All right, rooting for rain, Rob. Thanks a lot. In the East Bay, a lot of cleanup ahead. NBC Bay Area's Christy Smith shows us how the wind impacted people's days. It was really windy. In Berkeley, neighbors were out today near Willard Park looking at the tall redwood tree that toppled over. It's crazy. It's a big windstorm, I guess, but it's sad. It's an old tree. There's a big oak that's down just the block away, too, and somebody's front yard, the house didn't get hit, but lots of trees down. It was still windy at times during the day, but nothing like the strong winds from overnight. Around the corner, a tree toppled near a driveway, lifting the concrete. In different parts of the city, trees and branches were down and power knocked out. PG&E crews were working to restore power to thousands of customers and has extra crews. We lost power briefly, it came back on, but our, the rest of our block's out. To still today. A Berkeley Fire Department spokesperson says they responded to more than 50 calls for service overnight, mostly related to trees and power lines down. Trees also toppled in the Oakland Hills and other parts of the city. Had that call for some time. An Oakland couple woke to find this outside. A tree toppled on the car. My wife and I were fast asleep. Um, didn't hear anything at all. And uh, when we got up in the morning, we we found that distressing sight. Couldn't believe it. Christy Smith, NBC Bay Area News. When the weather gets like this, our NBC News app is a great resource to have. Get information straight to your phone for any conditions affecting your neighborhood. Just download our app for free.